The battle over the deficit and spending rages on in Washington, but out in the states, primarily red states, governors are focusing on spending restraint and, yes, tax cuts to make their states more competitive. Brad Little is one of them. He is the governor of the great state of Idaho, and he joins us now. Governor, thank you very much for being here. We appreciate it. Uh, you, you were mentioned this week in the Wall Street Journal for your leadership on flattening your tax code. The journal's editorial board saying in part, quote, many states that cut taxes in the early stage of the revenue boom have sustained or expanded their surpluses. In May of 2021, Governor Brad Little cut the top rate on income to 6.5 percent amid the $900 million surplus. The state's surplus then grew by more than 50 percent the next year, and the governor followed up by reducing the income tax again to a flat 5.8. So, Governor, uh, it's very rare that I get to talk to somebody who's actually cut taxes twice, but you've done it. How are you able to do this and be able to pro provide this tax relief? Well, actually, three times. Not only did we not not only we cut taxes three times. Uh, the first year we gave ten percent back, whatever you paid. The next year we gave twelve percent back, and last year we gave back ten percent. So we've had back to back to back tax cuts and back to back to back rebates. Also, we cut payroll taxes. We did the largest ever property tax. Uh, uh, rebate in 2020, and this year I'm proposing a, a pretty significant property tax where the state general fund will come in and lessen the burden of property taxes because all these people from the blue states are moving to the red states and our home values have gone to record high prices. Yeah, you know, we always hear from Washington, Gov Go uh, Governor, you can't cut taxes because we can't cut services, we need the money. Um, but you know, you've proven that you can do it. Um, you're gaining population while you're doing it. Uh, talk to us about uh, the impact of, of the move in terms of revenue and then your state's competitiveness. Well, we've not only are we cutting taxes and increasing our investments in our constitutional obligation to provide education, uh, we're doing one time projects on roads, on sewer, on water. Uh, we're building our infrastructure, paying off debt, and that just creates an atmosphere to where there's higher wages and higher incomes for businesses. Therefore, people are paying more sales tax and paying more income tax. It, it really is the rising tide that floats all ships. Yeah, you know, we're, we're seeing this as a growing trend across the country. 20 states have cut taxes since the beginning of the pandemic. Now 13 states have a flat tax. Uh, there's uh, and, and here's a, a list of some of the most recent uh, states uh, that have most of them have Republican majority leadership. Uh, we're, we're seeing out migration. You mentioned it before from high tax states like California, New York and others. How do you absorb population while trying to keep spending at bay? Well, it's it's a challenge. Uh, a lot of the growth issues are for local communities, and that's why this year we're going to do property tax uh, relief so that uh, uh, these communities can continue to grow. Uh, you know, schools, roads, sewer, water, and, mm -hmm. and 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 grow in the right way. We don't want willy-nilly growth, even though it's just almost overwhelming. You know, during the pandemic, when Governor Inslee in Washington had everything shut down, yeah, uh, the flow of people from the state of Washington uh, into northern Idaho was just almost unbearable for those communities up there. But those people have have come to Idaho, have established their homes there, are building businesses, are providing the workforce that we critically need. Uh, and so the more they do yeah. wrong, the more we look good. <laughs> Well, look, you know, I think one of the things that you and, and the other governors who are doing this have proven is that the Washington excuse for not giving people back their 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 hard earned money is uh, is is a fallacy because you you ultimately generate the economy, you ultimately generate more revenue, and you have a much more you're much more able to sustain um, uh, basic services. Governor Brad Little yeah. of the great state of Idaho, uh, we got to leave it there. Uh, but he's cutting taxes, folks. Hopefully, uh, hopefully more tax cuts will be coming to a place near you too. All right, Governor, thank you so much. Thank you.